Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching this video, my name is Bryce with Suds and Go Mobile Car Wash and Detailing. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change the oil in your Kranzla pressure washer. But before I do, I need to give someone a very special shout out. That person is Jeff from Forever Clean Detailing. He is a true detail master. When I started my business, I started researching a lot of ideas on YouTube. I came across one of his videos where he showed this amazing quick disconnect tool holder on the side of his trailer. I just absolutely loved it. Of course, I had to adopt that, bring it into my trailer setup. So what you see here is the foam cannon mounted on a quick disconnect tool holder. Jeff, thank you for the idea. Absolutely love it. You're the man. All right, without any further ado, guys, let's get into today's video. All right, you guys, so we're inside of the trailer today and we're gonna be doing an oil change. Uh, the Kranzla manual does say that the first oil change should be carried out after approximately 50 operating hours. Then every year or after 250 operating hours, you should change the oil again. These pressure washers, as you know, are not cheap. They are very, very expensive. And so, of course, I wanna maintain this to the best that I can. If you take care of it, it will take care of you. And so what we're gonna do today is again, we're right around 50 hours of operating hours. We're gonna change the oil. I am really curious to see what it's gonna look like. This machine has performed like a dream. It is the pressure washer of all pressure washers for car detailing. A lot of people go back and forth and, and try and figure out, oh my gosh, is the cost worth it? It's so expensive. It's over a thousand dollars after taxes and shipping. I'm here to tell you guys, you get what you pay for. That is a lesson in life that I have learned over and over and over again. And if you're gonna be washing cars on any type of high level, high scale, you need a nice pressure washer. All right guys, so there's one more thing that I wanna call out that is really important to understand. The Kranzla has a self-priming pump. So you do not need to run an exterior pump to the Kranzla. In fact, if you do, you can actually damage the Kranzla pump, meaning this Kranzla can suck water on its own. You do not need to feed it water from an exterior pump. As you can tell, I've got it level on the floor with my tank. So as it's pulling water, which by the way, according to the Kranzla manual, it can pull water up to one meter high. So you could technically have that Kranzla sitting on a shelf right there and it would still do just fine. Now, I have mine on the floor for multiple reasons. You can see here, my tank is about a little over halfway full. There's weight pressing down on that. And of course, I want that to work towards my advantage feeding into my pump, which basically means it's having to work less, meaning it's extending the life of my pump. And that's what I'm looking for, guys. I wanna treat my equipment well. I want it to last a long time. So that way I'm not having to spend money in repairs and other things. So. Knowing that there is no exterior pump running to this Kranzla, I have plumbed this separately all on its own. This has its own plumbing just for that machine, nothing else. So you can see here, I have it running into a valve here, which we will shut off because I'm gonna have to pull this off. I've got a banjo clamp, which by the way, you guys, these banjo clamps, they're a little bit expensive, but they're worth their weight in gold. I'm gonna pull these pins back. There's gonna be some water in the line. I'm gonna stick a towel underneath here to catch the water. But then all I have to do is unscrew these two screws here to unmount it from the floor. And this beast, after I pull this one back as well, this quick disconnect, is gonna be ready for me to pull it out of my trailer. I mounted it this way for a reason. I wanted it to be really easy to remove in case I ever had to change the oil. Well, today is that day. So just a couple of things about the oil. The manual does recommend that you only use Kranzla gear oil. Now I've read some stuff online. There's some other, there's like some diesel oil that you can use. I'm not even gonna tell you what kind it is because guys, I. Like I said, I've, I spent a lot of money on this and so I don't I don't wanna risk it, even though there's a lot of people that say, oh, you'll be just fine using the other type. You don't have to use Kranzla branded oil. I don't even wanna go there. So, so I actually had to go online to eBay 
and I ordered it from the UK just to get this oil. It just got here today, super stoked. Um, and uh, that's what we're gonna be using is the Kranzla branded oil. No need to try and experiment with other things. This is what I absolutely love about these banjo fittings. As you can tell, it works just like a quick disconnect, just on a bigger scale. It goes inside of the the uh, the banjo right here. You pull these rings back into place, and it secures it in place. No leaks. Easy maintenance, guys. Such a great fitting. All right, you guys, so I've got the Kranzla pulled out and sure enough, I'm looking through the sight glass and guess what? It definitely looks a little cloudy. That tells me this was ready for an oil change. Guys, make sure you're changing the oil right at 50 hours on your Kranzlas um, because clearly, I mean, you can tell that is cloudy. That's not how oil should look. So. Good news is we've got the oil, it just came in the mail. Let's go pick it up from the mailbox and let's do this thing. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is remove the red cap. That's where we're gonna be filling the, the oil. Then we're gonna go ahead and take off the bolt underneath right there. That's where the oil is going to drain out. All right, so now that we've undone the drain cap to drain the oil, uh, one of the things that I've heard is that on the newer Kranzlas, there is actually a magnet on the inside and that's to help catch any type of metal shavings, which can obviously damage your pump. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna also clean the drain cap while we're at it. guys we'll see if we can focus in on this but um, there it is that's the magnet right there at the bottom kind of cool all right so I was curious to see how that oil was gonna look and it is pretty it's pretty dang grungy so the oil definitely needed to be changed
All right, so as you're filling up your oil, the one thing you wanna do is just make sure as you, as you watch that bubble, I'm gonna tip this back just a little bit. There we go. You see that bubble, guys? You see that? As you put it down, it just goes back up to the top. If you tilt it back, see, come on. There it goes. That's about how full you want it. You don't want it much fuller than that, okay? Tilting it back, getting that bubble to appear. There we go. All right, guys, so for those interested, um, I used about a little less than half, a little less than half the bottle. So be really careful as you're dumping it into the, uh, into the oil inlet because it fills up real fast and you wanna keep an eye on that bubble. So I used about a little less than half of this bottle, which is great because on my next oil change one year from now-ish, give or take, I'll have a whole nother oil change ready to go. So you got uh, roughly two oil changes out of one bottle. Moment of truth, let's crank this baby on and see if, uh, see how it works. You're gonna hear the Kranzler kick on, here we go. There it is, you hear it stop, the lines are primed. We're good to go there. the way just a just a sneak peek that right there is called a jimmy stick and I'm gonna share with you on the next video why that right there is a game changer but anyways all right here we go let's do this Good to go. All right, you guys, I hope that video was helpful, especially for those of you who have a Kranzla or are considering buying a Kranzla. Hopefully you learned a couple of things about the machine. I love it. Uh, but as you can tell, you guys maintain your stuff. It's really, really important to maintain your equipment uh, so that it'll last a really, really long time. Anyways, again, guys, uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting me and my channel. If this video was at all helpful for you, would you mind hitting that like button and subscribe to my channel? I've got a lot more fun stuff coming up on the horizon. You do not want to miss it. All right, guys, love you all. We'll catch you later. Thank you.